Right then, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're doing a bit of a different uh, dish tonight. We're doing something on uh, that's been recommended for my good friend uh, Marios uh, from Cyprus. And what we're doing is a dish called Fakes. Uh, but it's the first time I've made it, so I'll be learning with you. And then the core ingredients we need for this is the, the lentils. We're using some pure lentils here, which are dark, so they're quite handy. So you need 250 grams of that. We also need a quarter of a cup of the olive oil, which is around about 50 ml. I'm trying to do the conversion in my head because uh, obviously us Brits make it awkward for ourselves against uh, the global metrics. Uh, then we're also going to use uh, garlic, we're going to use uh, tomato paste, we're going to use salt and pepper, and then we're going to add a couple of, of bay leaves, we're going to add some dry oregano, and then we're going to add some, some rosemary. So these are kind of like the Greek herbs that we, that we use. I'm going to add some proper vegetable socks I've had this made this week. Just simmering this to one side, that's um, around about a litre. So in here I've had uh, some, some, you know, some courgettes, some broccoli stems, uh, some of the uh, stalks from the herbs, um, cut ends of onions, and then you could even, you know, while this is doing, you can add a, a bouquet garni, which is like a tea bag. Of, of herbs, you know, so you, don't, so you can put that into your soup and have that simmer, and then that's what makes your homemade vegetable stock. In terms of cooking equipment, all you need is a, a saucepan. This is great for doing soups in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a bit of the olive oil here, and then we're going to cook off the, uh, the onions and the garlic, and then we're going to add the, the lentils to that. So, that's all done. Obviously, um, we've, we've done this for the soup, we're going to need a colander, so I'm going to um, strain that or, or the ends from that. So I'm just going to Strain this into here. So you're going to pour the good vegetable stock back into the pan. And then I'm just going to add the, the broccoli florets into here and just let that simmer to one side. This is slightly different to the Greek recipe. Very healthy in the time of building your immune system. Uh, I want to add some greens, you know, so I thought this is, this is kind of like the only twist. That is different to this. So then we're going to add a, a bit of the olive oil into the pan. Let that just simmer very slightly. As I've always said, olive oil doesn't like to be heated too much. Just let that simmer. And we need to chop up a, a, an onion. Now I've just received, I've just got a really new, um, a new sharpener actually, which is really good. Sharpen up an ice with it. This um, Wusthoff um, uh, blade sharpener. And you can do like a course when you hold it down here, you, you do the course, you do the fine and I've, I've sharpened my blades but it's fantastic. I was going to invest in some new blades but no, this is, is absolutely brilliant. So, always slice your onions into half. We have a bit of, always, I always like to have a waste bowl. So we're just going to slice the, the onion up, so we're going to put down into it. vegan dish this no meat no dairy really healthy for you uh, the lentils are really good for you in terms of prebiotics really good for your gut health really good at you know for building your immune system up in these times there's been a lot of science behind uh, gut health over the uh, over the past few years 
uh, a lot of really good science uh, that's, that proves that and you know um, I really do encourage people to start eating more vegetarian vegan food you know even if you become a flexitarian I think it's really good for your, for your, for your health um, so no thank you Holly for, for, for you know trying to push a lentil dish I know you're not keen on aubergines so now we're just going to add the herbs uh, part of the recipe this is what it recommends so we've got this to one side um, we're going to add um, a pinch of the rosemary a pinch of oregano and again you can you can you can put in whatever you've got you know you could put in possibly coriander but this is this is the Greek recipe and herbs that we've got what I do with the one Sunday you'll be limited with what you've got in the stock at the moment and it's uh, nice to do these simple dishes with uh, also convenient foods fresh vegetables but also convenient herbs and whatever you've got in your larder in the cupboards really I'm just going to put that back on so we're going to bring this off of the heat a tablespoon of the uh, tomato paste and then we're going to season it sea salt into sea salt I recommend um, a dry white wine. I don't have any uh, Greek wine in, but um, we have a, a nice Spanish El Zumbido, which is a Vayuma, uh, which is um, a nice white. I really recommend that. So that's just simmering away there. Just um, cheers, everyone. Fantastic, really nice. So, ready to serve this up. G Jenna's waiting quite patiently. It's really good, this. The smell was absolutely um, really natural. So, just gonna serve this up. So, this is the soup. It's called fake, which in Greek um, is a, a tr really traditional uh, lentil soup with a really, really nice. So I really recommend this, really healthy. A big uh, thank you to uh, Marios, my good friend in, in Cyprus, um, for my uh, uni days, uh, fond memories of studying food technology together. Um, and uh, thank you Holly also for uh, pushing us to do a lentil dish, which is not always, not always a, a, a favourite of everybody's, but um, there's lots you can do with it. Um, perhaps we're gonna, we might do like um, an African spicy, um, lentil soup also in the future so um, hope you're really liking the show and um, be safe